It isn't uncommon, you know. It's easy to get lost in the vastness of space. There's only yourself, your ship, your crew. You really want to head back out there, huh? Star Trek movie fans have been waiting over six years for an official announcement on when we'd get the fourth installment of the franchise. No, the, um, well, so when Paramount and J.J. Abrams announced on February 15th that Star Trek IV was not only greenlit, but had a scheduled release date for December 2023, fans were excited. After years of director, script, and casting concerns, there was finally a public commitment by the studio and the producer who was responsible for originally rebooting the movies back in 2009. And not only did the studio assure us that the original cast would be returning, they locked down a young, up-and-coming director, Matt Shackman, to take Star Trek movies to the next level. But who would have guessed that a studio guarantee might not be any guarantee at all? Oh. Only six months after the announcement was made, nearly everything we knew about Star Trek IV is in question, and the project seems to be quickly reaching dumpster fire status. But why? And is it too late for Paramount to extinguish the flames before they are forced to start over from scratch yet again? Is the window closing for us to get one last adventure from Chris, Carl, Zachary, and the OG rebooted cast? Is Star Trek IV boldly going nowhere? What we've uncovered may surprise you. He throws hot coffee on people. Yeah. So you don't want to miss this episode. Also, make sure you stay tuned until later, where we'll show you how Brilliant is going to change the way you learn. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do so now. And give us a thumbs up if you want more inside knowledge about your favorite shows. That's the ticket, laddie. And make sure you stay tuned until the end to see how to get this awesome Star Trek Hello Computer graphic design from the amazing artists at MixTees.com. Hello, computer. Just use the keyboard. Following the February announcement, fans were told filming for the Christmas 2023 release would begin at the end of 2022. And this got fans of both Star Trek and the Amazon hit show The Boys thinking. How will it be possible for the extraordinarily popular Carl Urban, who channels his inner DeForest Kelly as the Kelvin Dr. McCoy, do both projects at the same time? It's me, not you. It's definitely you. Prior to the announcement, Urban was already committed to filming The Boys Season 4 through the end of 2022. How could he possibly do both? Urban addressed the problem in May. He said, I have heard that it is happening, but I've been hearing that for the last three years. All I know is they are developing it. They're writing a script. And I know 100% that we all want to come back and do it. So I think it's all just a matter of logistics and timing at this point. Well, that's just typical. Hearing the confirmation that he and the other actors 100% want to do it is a good sign. But his notable lack of conviction or awareness of a timeline set off alarm bells, especially following Chris Pine's offhanded comment that no one had called the actors to let them know Star Trek IV was happening. The past and hopeful future Kelvin James T. Kirk was excited that Star Trek was moving forward, but honest that no one had notified him or any of the cast about it. Yeah, of course, I would love to. I'm thrilled. A very odd move considering the studio put a hard date out for the release, but hadn't taken the actor's schedules into consideration, as became obvious with Urban and the boys. And timing is one thing, but salaries hadn't been discussed either, and last reported Pine wanted $13 million to reprise his role as Captain Kirk. The studio must be prepared to open up its wallet thanks to the success of Paramount Plus's subscriber streaming service. But actors' concerns aside, the studio and Abrams seemed committed. New director Matt Shackman was coming off the award-winning Marvel WandaVision show, and Josh Friedman and Cameron Squires were rewriting a previous script. I'm a Sokovian fortune teller. It seemed as if, finally, Star Trek IV was firing on all cylinders. And just when it seemed like the stars had aligned and everything was going to happen according to the plan, Star Trek IV dropped out of warp. But before we tell you what knocked Star Trek IV off course, let me quickly tell you why you're going to love this video's sponsor, Brilliant. No one is gonna drop success into your lap. And because knowledge is the key to unlocking your future success, we use Brilliant. Brilliant is an amazing tool for learning STEM interactively, which is the best way to learn. 
Learning is a lifelong process, and when you're expanding your horizons, why sit through boring lecture videos when you can have hands-on interactive problem solving? We need versatility when we want to learn new things, and Brilliant is the partner you'll want to help you achieve your goals. Learn at your own pace, learn on the go, and learn something new. Achieve success both personally and professionally with STEM learning on Brilliant. When we wanted to learn how to improve our business math skills, we opened up Brilliant and took their everyday math course, which gave us a new perspective on foundational math topics like percentages, fractions, and basic geometry. Using Brilliant is so incredibly easy. It's visually stimulating, fun, hands-on, and in a low-pressure environment. And you can get started right now for free. Just visit brilliant.org slash thepopcast or click on the link in the description below. The first 200 will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium membership. Brilliant is for everyone, so click the link and join more than 10 million people excelling in science and math today thanks to Brilliant. Just when everything seemed to be going great for the fourth installment of Star Trek, in August, Marvel announced they were in talks with Shackman to direct the upcoming Fantastic Four movie. Then, on August 26th, it happened. Paramount released an official statement that Shackman was no longer directing the new film. In the statement, they said, Matt Shackman is an incredibly talented filmmaker, and we regret the timing didn't align for him to direct our upcoming Star Trek film. We are grateful for his many contributions, are excited about the creative vision of this next chapter, and look forward to bringing it to audiences around the world. So despite Shackman walking away, Paramount made it a point to say the show would go on. Hollywood Trades would report that bringing Star Trek back to the big screen is a priority for the studio, and while it remained unclear if the film would be able to meet its December 2023 release date, a search for a new director would begin immediately. Abandon ship! But if everything was going so well, why would they lose Shackman at all? Marvel Universe mastermind Kevin Feige recently announced that Fantastic Four would premiere November 4th, 2024. So surely Shackman would have time to get Star Trek in the can before having to beam over to the Fantastic Four, right? It would be tight, but doable. I have children of my own. I understand your pain. The truth is, Star Trek IV was having issues behind the scenes. According to SplashReport.com, during the recent Star Trek Day at the Skirball Cultural Center in Los Angeles, several insiders reported that an acceptable script has not been delivered, and the target date of December 2023 was not attainable. And if Star Trek was going to be pushed into the future, there was no way Shackman was going to stay with an uncertain project when a Marvel movie was sitting there for the taking. And when you combine an unacceptable script with actor schedules so complicated that nailing down a date to make the movie becomes incredibly difficult, then you can see exactly why Star Trek IV is boldly going nowhere for the moment. Despite all of these difficulties, Paramount is still committing to full speed ahead, and that is a different tone than we've been used to in recent years. The fact that the studio still believes it has a movie and the actors all really want to do it, then that's a great sign. Pine, Urban, and Simon Pegg, who plays Scotty, has referred to the cast as more of a family than a group of friends. Pine has said on numerous occasions that he'd happily play Kirk for the rest of his career. It also appears that Paramount is opening up its pocketbooks. Even Chris Hemsworth, who played Kirk's father in Star Trek 2009, said if asked, he'd happily come back for the next movie. If we're being honest here, the real holdup with Star Trek IV has been the script. Chris Pine likely let the cat out of the bag without anyone realizing it. In an interview back in April, Pine suggested that perhaps it's not feasible to spend $500 million producing and marketing a Star Trek movie and then waiting for it to hit an astronomical figure. He said, We always tried to get the huge international market. It was always about making the billion dollars. It was always this billion dollar mark because Marvel was making a billion. We struggled with it because Star Trek, for whatever reason, its core audience is rabid. To get these people that are maybe Star Wars fans or think Star Trek is not cool or whatever, we've definitely done a good job of it, but not the billion dollar kind of job they want. Did Chris just tell us the problem? Is Star Trek IV on terminal delay because the studio isn't getting the scripts that will bring in a worldwide audience? Star Trek does have a worldwide audience, but it will likely never appeal to a worldwide general audience like Marvel would. Chris Pine actually had the best suggestion. He thinks that Star Trek should be made for people that love Star Trek, 
Let's make it for them, Pine said about Star Trek fans. And then if people want to come to the party, great. But make it for a price and make it so that it makes a half a billion dollars, that's really good. Pine makes an excellent point. Perhaps the studio should focus on telling a great story that costs less, but that all Star Trek fans will want to come watch. And that will actually make the studio more money than trying to compete with Marvel. And to be honest, Pine is saying the exact same thing the rest of us fans are saying. Just tell a good Star Trek story. With the director's chair now empty, perhaps executive producer J.J. Abrams will plop down and finally get this thing made. But whoever ends up doing it, make sure that the person who writes and directs Star Trek IV is a true fan who is talented and deeply loves the franchise. Because that's what Star Trek fans deserve. Maybe someone should give Terry Metalis a call. If Picard Season 3 is as good as we think it's going to be, let's give him a shot at making a Star Trek movie. What do you think? Does this spell doom for Star Trek 4, or will they have another director up their sleeve? Do you want Star Trek 4, or were we good with Star Trek Beyond? Do you want the Kelvin reboot crew back for one more adventure, or is it time to do a different type of Star Trek movie? Let's talk about it in the comments below. Also, support the channel and check out this classic Star Trek Hello Computer graphic design. Get 20% off your purchase by using coupon code THEPOPCAST. The link is in the description below. And don't forget to check out Brilliant in the link below. Do they have any classes on script writing? Heart. <laughs> Worst sound I've ever heard. Blink. Oh.